All right, folks, here we are on part two of our birthday box nickel hunt. So as I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to do only 10 rolls at a time. Uh, we got through our first 10 rolls last time, and I'll recap all of that at the end, and we'll see what new coins are going to fill our three books. So we have the 19... I'll do these out of order. We have the 1938 to 1961 book. We have the 1962 to 95 and the 96 to current. And just as a recap, our first 10 rolls of this box hunt did a real good job at the uh, first group. We have uh, from... 1996 to date, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. We have seven coins left in this in this book to find. Let's get 96 to date. Our middle book. Get a little more older in there. 96, 1962 to 1995. Uh, we've got most of the current ones. We got. Two there, uh, let's see here, 89 and 93. We've got a couple on this page yet. And then the 60s seems to be uh, an area we need to grow in on here. And then our final one here, 38 to 61. We only got a couple of these. We did find in that first hunt. This Pride and Joy is, where did it go? The 1948S. Um, I did not have that in my other collection, so it's in this one, but only 11 minted. That's a low minage coin um, there that came out of the first 10 rolls, and we got three here in the 1950s. So our goal is, again, we're going to see how many of our box is going to fill that. So I'm just going to pick from random here. A couple rolls, um, no particular order in this one. I did want to start with this one. If we can get this to focus a little bit better here. Maybe a little too close. There we go. So this one, as we look, is an older, well-worn roll. Nothing fancy on that one. Um, on there, not an overly new one. But we're going to start off on with this roll. I'll do this one live. Um, maybe do a sec, two of them live and because of interest of time. And then just bring you in on the other rolls as we go. So uh, looking at all of the enders here. Or the sides of the coin to see if anything's... Uh, Sticking out, of course. That one's got a nice little toning to it. I do like that one. The looks of that one and the looks of that one. So I'll start off with those. And go back to that first end that we said. As we said, <coughs> reverse under here. Come on, focus. There we go. And as we look at that, no mint mark on there. So what's this going to be is a... Is that really what I said? <laughs> what a good one. Now let's come on with my focus. Oh, wow. And that is... Look at that. That is a 1939. What a first coin to pull out. 19... I'm just going to angle that a little bit more. Yeah, 19, that is a three. 1939 Philadelphia. That's the second year that Jefferson Nichols were around. And I'm just going to look at here. 120, um, 120 million minted. So not by far a low date. But wow, what a date. And what a way to start off these 10 rolls. 1939. So let's see here. 19... Six or 2016, we have an 85. There's another one, nice worn. And what do we have there? We have a 78. 
2020. These are a little more modern. 98. So let's do this. Teens, 20s, 90s. This was my 80s and 70s. Just making piles up here by decades makes it easier for filling out that. That is a D mint mark on that. But that's that. 1964 common common one uh, let's see here 1983 and 2020 again 2007 21 Ooh, there's a nice looking one we got mint mark there let's see if that'll focus in there that's a d mint mark denver mint mark mint marks on the back are usually good and yep another 1964 and 94 let's see here 98 not the ones we're looking for 2017 2019, 2016, that's pretty modern, let's see here, that's 2000, that's yeah, uh, 91, 2002, 14, 21, 76, 78, and 2002, right. 2005, 2001, so not find another than that first one. Nothing of excitement coming out here. 70s, 80s. And they will go through and look. Ooh, that's got some nice coloration to it, but that's an 88. And 1990. Um, so that first roll, only the one big key find there. Oh, I love it. 1939. And again, oops. Did that wrong. Philadelphia, no mint mark on that, but still definitely a winner. And we'll bring the next roll up again, another reverse ender. Um, pretty well worn. Just make sure no mint mark on that side. And again, the obverse there. So Unknown, let's just make sure that's this side. One grab the reverse coin, but I love doing this just to see the colorations and tonings. Ooh, we got some nice color in here. Grab this one. Grab that one. Just be some corrosion there. And the, but let's first start with that ender. No mint mark. Pretty well worn. I'm going to guess 1980s. Oh, 69. So not the dates we're looking for. Anything uh, 1959. Ooh, 
dirty coin, 80s, go figure. I always find the 80s to have the dirty and the and the uh, corrosion to them, the most common. That one's hard to read there, 96. So nothing fancy there. Let's just get in this, trying to do this quickly. Again, I'm just stacking for the purpose to fill the books. 20 goes over here. Let's see here. 92. Oh, that's got some interesting pattern on there. Look at that. You can get a little bit used to seeing these here in a little bit. 1992 goes here. But this is your 1959. This is the last year that I look to collect um, always. Anything 59 or earlier, I, I like seeing. It's got some good condition for being a 59. Nice shadowing and toning to it. Back's a little bit dirty. No mint mark, so a 1959 Philadelphia. All right, more modern, 95. This is definitely a 90 package here. It's going to be 2013. I think that's one that I'm going to need. 82. 80. 17. I'm going to really work on this lighting here. 21. Another 82, 2001, and another 2017, 17, 95, 21, 17, 16, that's a really good shiny coin, another nice worn one here, 89, 95, and 83. Seventy-seven, sixteen, ooh, shiny, twenty twenty-one, ninety-six, twenty-ten, another sixty-four. I should do a one. Just how many sixty-fours can we find? Sixteen. 84, 83, put down the wrong file, 2004. Now with the 2004s, 2005s, I will be looking because some of these do have some slight doubling, so I'll do that off camera. And, ooh, dirty. Um, but a lot of times what you'll want to look for here is in the United States, you'll want to look for any kind of uh, doubling around those letters here so we'll definitely be looking at those a little more closely afterwards here in 2016 so two rolls into it so far we had the first roll gave us the 1939 second roll gave us the 1959 so one coin per roll it's a good place to start another eight rolls here and I'll bring you in when we're done hey guys there's a new one Ooh, that's got some quite a glare to it let's bring that up and get our focus as I said in the first video not a significant find but I do collect these there's the focus 
this is a Canadian, 1985 Canadian cent. So we'll keep that. I do collect the Canadian coins. They're my neighbors to the east of, of shinies in there. This looks like a good one here. What are we going to pull out here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This was just a fluke. I get this is my first box box, but I've only done this once before. You guys are seeing this? That is a buffalo nickel. That is not the modern 2005 buffalo. This is an original. I'm flipping that. Look at that. There's the Indian head. And look at that date. That date. That date. Let me see if I can get this focus for you. Because that is very clear. 1937. Holy crap, guys. I don't get these that often. <laughs> and granted, I'm new to this, but 1937. Look at that condition, too. Oh, man. You can get this focus again. You can see Liberty clearly. Look at this. The feathers are nice and clear on that one. Oh, wow, what detail. We're going to look over here, and if I'm going to have to check. All right, guys, here's the second Canadian on that. You can see that pretty clearly. 1998, it is a new Canadian, but we'll add that one to our Canadian collection. Pretty good. There we go. Pulled that one off right by the side here. Let's get this focus. This is another one. Second one in this uh, by in this these ten rolls. Let me zoom in on that a little bit with that focus. And there we have it again. That is a 1939. And no mint mark so that's my second 1939 philadelphia add that to the other one and this is the final roll of this video roll number 20 of the box and let's see what we can hopefully this will yield we had some interesting yields on here i'll be coming back and putting that out giving you the summary at the end Ooh, look at that. You guys can see it even though it's out of focus here. There we go. We got some good coloration here. Let's pull this out. Now, let's take a look at some of this color coming through. Start off with the obvious. This is just corrosion, I'm pretty confident to say. Nice dark yeah 1984 this one is 1991 so just some odd toning on that one this one's a little more beat up around the edges no mint mark Wait. Let me take a closer look at this one. From, yeah, no mint mark on that side. Flip it over. Well, that would be why. That's an 84. And I like this colored. Still no mint mark. Well, rubbed edges on that one. That is a 71. That one was well loved. All right, let's just go through these quickly. 17, 17, 16, 98, 16, 74, 94. Ooh, nice and shiny. 20, 2001. Oh, corrosion on the back. And that is 18. 
Shiny new one, 2018, 20, 2006. Oop, that's got some nice rubbing to it. 92, 17, 3, all right, 96. 2000, 2021, 76. And quite a few of those on this one here 79 all right these last ones gonna be a little uneventful here 88 Ooh, that's got some good wear to it 70s no look at that this is our first 1940 coin that is look at that 1949 a little bit of damage on that no milk mark so that's a philadelphia so that's going to be our first 40s last roll go figure continue to produce let's see what else we can get 90s 90s 73 90 87 and the last coin is 99 all right so 10 rolls here guys rolls 11 through 20 and this is what we ended up with so i'll recap these uh significant finds here momentarily but again so what we have is we have one from every decade that we're looking for 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s were popular, 2000, 2010s, and 2020s. Um, so what we're generally seeing here is norm, but let's take a look at what these finds came up to be. So from the beginning here, our focus... There we go. We have a 1939 no mint mark, so Philadelphia. And once again, the 1939 Philadelphia. So two 1939 Phillies. We have here our 1949 Philadelphia. So another good one. And the 19. 1959 Philadelphia a little bit on the dirty side but those are the the key main finds here uh, I got again one more I'll end that there we had three Canadians out of these ten rolls again I collect these uh, and get those I got get the Canadian books for the nickels I got my Canadian small cent but not my Canadian nickels and the pride and joy of this hunt or of these is our buffalo or indian head and nickel no mint mark the mint marks usually here between the e and the c so that's a philadelphia all four legs so it's not the three-legged error that we looked for and the date on this is a 1937 great condition fine condition for an indian head in a machine bank wrapped roll so i'll get uh put these in the books look for any kind of updates and bring you back at the end all right so here's the summary of the findings for book number one again we had that 1939 which is going to go in its spot the 1949 and the 1959 all of which we needed so three for three and i also wrapped up the uh 
buffalo head nickel or Indian head nickel, the 1937. Um, so just keep that. I don't have a buffalo head book for this, but that's something we'll work on maybe in the future. All right, here is now that sorted book number two. This again is 1962 to 1995. Went through here. I'll do a little zoom in here. That focus works with me. There we go. Just see where we're at here. We got a 1962's going in. 1964 going in. We also have 1967 getting filled in. I did find a better quality here, 1969. And 1970, just getting a, like I said, when I go through here, I'm just going to go for little upgrades where I can. Uh, 1971 is getting filled, and 1973 is getting filled. Over here on page two, a little bit of upgrade there, but 1976 is new, another upgrade, upgrade, and upgrades for those. So two paid, two spots left on that one. On here, we're getting the 1989 filled and the 1993. So that page is now complete after 20 rolls. Two spots open in this one, a few more here in the 1960s and 70s was to be expected. All right, and here we are on book three. I went through everything and updated it. So we actually filled in one more spot. Got a couple replacement coins there. We'll put in place. On page two, we were able to fill in two more spots. Go figure, those 2009s, again, it, those, they're not low mintage, but they're rare coins. These coins had uh, 39 million and 46 million uh, produced that year in relation to the six, seven, eight hundred million that are normally produced. So those were two Two, uh, two years, the mint just didn't produce as much. So a couple of replacement there. And the same thing on page three. More replacements and an elusive 2023. I'll have that one, I'm pretty sure, by the end of uh, this hunt. But at the end of uh, box hunt number two, we have almost a book almost filled in here. And again, I'm not going to count on those 2029s. I've gone through, uh, let's see here, 20 rolls and no 2009 coins.